So a common question I get is, uh, what should I do about a tick bite? Uh, many people are under the impression that they need to get treated if they're bitten by a tick, uh, or they need to be tested or whatever. So what's the story here? Well, I live and practice in New Jersey. Uh, in my location, there is a lot of Lyme disease, um, but even so, uh, only about 50% of the uh, deer ticks are actually infected with Lyme disease. So you say, wow, 50%, that's, that's a lot. Um, so what's the chance that you would actually get it if you were bitten? Well. First of all, you need to be bitten by the right tick. It needs to be a deer tick. A lot of the ticks around here are um, uh, dog ticks and other wood ticks, and uh, they can't transmit Lyme disease. Uh, the other thing to consider is the tick needs to be feeding for almost two or more days before it can transmit the disease, even if it's an infected tick. Uh, literally, it has to fill up with blood and then regurgitate, and it's this regurgitation that, that is uh, uh, infecting the uh, host. So, um, if you are bitten by a tick, it's if the tick hasn't been it's not a deer tick it's it's there's no problem if the tick hasn't been on you that long it isn't engorged chances are even if it were infected it would not have transmitted the disease uh, so most of the time with most single tick bites there's no need to do anything you don't need to be tested you don't need to be treated but uh, as a precaution, you should observe yourself or the bitten person for three weeks following the bite for signs compatible with a tick-related illness. So we're talking fever, flu-like symptoms, malaise, uh, whatever. Uh, you get sick within three weeks of the bite and you have compatible symptoms, then it's probably best just to get treated empirically. No testing. Uh, why not test? Well, um, first of all, if you test right away at the time of the bite, the body has not yet had sufficient time to develop antibodies against Lyme disease and other tick-related illnesses. So the test that you do will be falsely negative. In other words, it will say you do not have the disease even though you're now incubating the disease. So it will give you a misleading result at best. If you wait several weeks in order to get a positive test, then you're missing the opportunity to prevent the infection were you to treat it. So testing right away following a tick bite makes no sense. Um, should you treat? Well, definitely if you develop symptoms of a tick-related illness within three weeks of the bite, yeah, yeah, you, you should just get treated. Again, don't wait for the test uh, because the test may be falsely negative, just treat. Um, also, um, thing to consider is uh, ticks can transmit other diseases besides Lyme disease, like Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever and all, but then you're, you're having symptoms. So if you come down with a high fever and you're, you're sick following this observation period, you're going to check in with your doctor anyway, and uh, that will be evaluated and, and treated uh, appropriately based on uh, the, the symptoms and results of testing. So uh, I hope you found this, uh, this information useful. 
Uh, you don't need to freak out after every tick bite. Just watch yourself for symptoms. Uh, another symptom to watch out for is the, uh, the rash of Lyme disease, which is very characteristic. It's called erythema migrans, and it uh, starts out as a red dot, which gradually increases in size, clears in the center, so it forms a ring-like uh, mark or lesion on the skin, and it keeps growing, gets bigger every day, day by day getting bigger, so that it can be five centimeters or greater so that's like two and a half inches and if it's still growing and all that's that's practically diagnostic of Lyme disease if you see that you see that you treat it um, uh, right away you, you don't test because again the test may be negative even though you've got the uh, the characteristic uh, rash so again um, that's the story on Tick Bites, at least in New Jersey. Thanks for watching.